Hey guys, it's Crystal here from Cristico Design. Today we're learning how to make the buco towel, which is an easy crochet dish towel for the kitchen that has a hanging loop included so you can hang it onto your oven. We're using We Crochet's Dishy, a number four medium weight yarn. It's 100% cotton. You'll need 380 yards in two colors if you want to make the stripes like it's pictured here, one skein of each. I'm also using my four millimeter size G6 hook. You'll need your needle measuring tape, scissors. Okay, I'll start with the slip knot on my hook here. We're going to chain 49. You can add or subtract three to adjust the starting chain if you'd like to make a different size. As it is, our dishcloth is 12 inches wide. Okay, so now I'm going to half double crochet in the second chain for my hook. I'm turning it over and working in the back loop here. And then I will half double crochet in the next chain. And then slip stitch in the following chain. And that will be my repeat across. Half double crochet in the next two chains, slip stitch in the third. And I'll repeat that to the end of the row, ending with the slip stitch in the last chain here. Okay, we're at the end of the row here. You can see I have three chains left. I'm going to half double crochet in the next one, half double crochet in the following, and then again, end with a slip stitch in that last chain of the row. That completes row one and we're ready to turn for row two. Row two will start with a chain one. In that same stitch we're going to place a half double crochet. So here the chain one won't count as a stitch, we won't work into it. In the next one we'll place a half double crochet and in the following we'll place a slip stitch. So now we are at our one row repeat, half double crochet in the next two, slip stitch in the third, and repeat that to the end. I love how this texture works up in this cotton yarn. I'm at the end of row two here so I'm putting my half double crochet, half double crochet, and then slip stitch in the last stitch. Okay, so now it's time to turn your work and you're just going to keep repeating that for four inches or 16 rows total if you want to change colors like I'm doing here. And I'll show you that next. Or you just keep working until you have 64 rows or your towel's about 15 and a half inches long. We'll put the loop in the last one inch of the towel. Okay, to change colors after four inches or 16 rows. On my last stitch of the row is always a slip stitch. So that's how I finish it. Turn, start the next row. Normally I just stop at the last yarn over and pull the next color through. But since it's a slip stitch, I'm going to leave it up to you if you want to just pull that through and cut the yarn and then turn and join it on the next with a slip stitch. But I'm going to do it this way to show you. I'm adding here the cream color um, swan, I believe. It's swan. So last stitch of the row is a slip stitch. So insert my hook, drop the first color to the back, pick up my new color yarn over and pull that through the stitch and the loop on my hook. So now tightening that up and that up. I'm going to turn Get set up here, pull my tail up and around. Go ahead and trap that back this way as well. And then my first stitch, we start with the chain one. Half double crochet back into that same stitch. Go ahead and work over this color. 
and I'll weave in the other one. Half double crochet in the next, and then slip stitch in the following. And then I'm just going to keep repeating my one row, row two, repeat in my new color for four inches, and then I will switch back to the gold color. I'll keep alternating four inch sections in each color until I have four sections total, or my towel is roughly 16 inches long. All right, guys, we've worked up our towel sections, and now it's going to be time to add our hanging loop. I have one gold, one cream, one gold, one cream. So I'm going to continue in cream for this hanging loop. I've done equal sections of 16 rows each. Now we're going to turn. And in this row, we're going to work in pattern for 18 stitches. Then we're going to chain 12, skip 12, and then pick up the pattern on the other side and continue to the end. So we'll start with the chain one, half double crochet in the same stitch, and the next, slip stitch in the next, and we have three of our 18 stitches. So we'll keep repeating that across. All right, so I have 15 here. I need three more. There we go. Now I have 18 stitches. I ended with a slip stitch. Now I'm going to chain 12. And I'm going to skip 12. In the next stitch after the 12th, I'm going to start up my pattern again, which will be half double crochet. Half double crochet in the next, and then slip stitch. And then I'll continue repeating that to the end of the row. And here's our loop here that we're going to thread our towel through around the oven bar. All right, I'll turn and now I'm going to work a regular row two here, counting these chains as counting these chains as stitches, working into them as normal. Okay, you can see that's my first half double crochet I made after my slip stitch there. All right, so from here, I'm not actually gonna work into each individual chain. I'm going to work into the chain space. So I'm going half double crochet around the chain. One, another one, two, and then slip stitch three. And I'll repeat that for 12 stitches in the chain space. You can work into the chains if you prefer. I just find them tight and fiddly to work into and it's just not necessary. 
if you count your stitches. So there we have nine stitches. We need three more. My last slip stitch here. And then I'm going to pick up my pattern continuing with the half double crochets and the slip stitches. You can see if you turn, it's easier to see half double, half double slip stitch. So that is the next stitch I work into with a half double crochet. If you think you'll have trouble seeing those stitches, you can always put a stitch marker on the last stitch before in the first stitch before your chain 12 section. Or again, if you work directly into the chain stitches, then you'll take up each stitch and it'll be more obvious. There we are at the end. And then we're going to turn and work one more row to finish it off. This will be our last row here. There we are on our chain 12 space stitches. Everything just continuing the pattern across those. And then you can cut your yarn and finish off. Next up, I will show you how to fold and hang your towel. Okay, here's our towel hanging on the roundy oven bar handle that I have. Let me pull it out here and I'll show you how to drape it over. We've got our whole side here. We're going to feed the bottom in through the back and then bring it up and over the oven loop and then feed it through the loop we crocheted. Pull that through. A bit of sliding and adjusting and fiddling to get it to sit just right. And that's really it.